I compiled all of the zero and two teams and two and zero oh teams to mm-hmm. start the season. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to go through each one. Uh, I've got the matchups for each team, and I want to discuss whether we think the teams are dead or if they're playoff contenders. Yeah. For, you, you get it, like, and oh, yeah. we'll we'll give our opinion. You know, I'm gonna have some some weird. Yeah, I'm, no, it's gonna I'm, be I'm, awesome. You already know I'm gonna have. Okay, some weird so I've already got everything compiled here. Yeah, so we'll start up. with the Jets. Jets. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna start with the zero and two teams, I should say. So the Jets are zero and two. They play the Buffalo Bills and the San Francisco 49ers, and they got beat They got beat bad in both games. I'm okay Ugh. with that. I don't think there's anything you could tell me that would convince me that the Jets are worth anything. But, so I, don't, I also don't think out of those first two games we can say the Jets are garbage. They played really two good fucking teams. Well. Nah, bro. Well. Ah, bro. I, I have know. I have my doubts about Buffalo right now. They've played a couple of bad teams. I want to see them play someone good. But, but that's here's what I'm the thing. Saying. Here's the thing. The good teams destroy bad teams. That's supposed and to happen. That's what they've done so far. That's so all this happened for the Jets. Right. So they're they're another dark horse for me. I think that they could maybe pop off and do something. I really I, do. Okay. I really do. I, I will say this. I think their division's a little closer than we might have anticipated. I'm telling the you, the Patriots bro. look pretty good. But for how but, long? But well, yeah, we'll see. It's only two games. We'll see. Right. We're two games. That's in. like so I'm on Arizona. That's what makes this but, fun. Uh, we can do this yeah. every couple of weeks. I think Jets could pop off. So if so, you're asking me, right? They're on two. They're I think, two. I think Do you they, think they're dead? I uh, no. no. So you think they still got a chance? I think they do. Yes. They would have to be a wild card. I'm okay with that. And and, and so once we get into these this extra wild card next year, right? Then I think it's this even. This year, this year's seven teams. They're gonna do it. Yes. I thought you said they weren't gonna do it. No, no, we're not doing game seventeen this year. But they are doing an extra wild yes. card. Mm-hmm. There you go. So yes, definitely Ooh. not dead. I'm telling you, bro. Okay. Definitely not dead. No. Wow. Okay. Yeah, Hot I'm take. There. Okay. Two dark horses. Miami. Oh and two. Mm-hmm. They played New England and Buffalo. They're now not dead. they got beat really bad by New England, but they're they beat dead. Buffalo by like a field goal. Yeah. They're oh, not or dead. they lost to Buffalo by a right. field goal, they're, I should say. They're not dead. You don't think so I either. think Buffalo's better than New England. Wait, say that again? Buffalo's better than New England. You think so? Yeah. I kind of agree with you. Uh, I mean, now that they got digs. Now, I am going to say yeah, this no. though. Losing to New no. England and Buffalo, those are both divisional games, which is rough. That's tough. That's, That's going to be rough. a hard comeback. Yeah. That's gonna be a hard comeback. But so, but they still got Fitz Magic in, and our over under was four games. And they get to play them again, right? They get two games. So, yeah, so I they mean, could split. You got to split it. Got to split it. I yeah, mean, I think so. I think all, I think all. if they're anything, they got to split. So you don't right. think Miami's dead either yet? Or or you don't necessarily have to split, but you're gonna have to beat the team who you think may go right. You, you gotta, you gotta beat, get that tiebreaker. You gotta, you gotta beat probably one of those I agree. two teams at least. At least, yeah. Okay, so you don't think they're dead either? No. I'm gonna say I this. I think the Jets and Miami are dead. Yeah. But but I say Miami Miami's has more dead. Miami has a life support because if they put Tua in and he just starts popping off, that could change things. The Jets, they don't have that like breaking case of emergency. They don't, but thing. they also like, haven't they're just lost the Jets. two division games yet. Huh? So I would give Miami more dead waters than the Jets. Well, they already lost to the Bills, who's also a divisional team. But I'm okay with that because okay. the, I it's one game. The, I expect it the, happens. I expect the Bills to be better than them anyway already. You know right. what I'm saying? So, I get it. The true yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. Cincy played against the Chargers and the Browns. Cincy's oh my gosh, looked bro. really good, but like, how did they lose to Mayfield? Because like, AJ AJ Green dropped eight passes. What are we doing? What the fuck, AJ? I drafted you in like two of my fantasy teams, God, and you're out here putting up five points. You know what happened after that game? All I saw was, oh, is Baker really good? Is Baker really this? Oh, they're going to trade OBJ. Here's the flip side. Does Cincy oh suck? My gosh, bro. No. I don't think so either. They just have a rookie I'm quarterback. I'm going to actually go out and say, I don't think Cincy's dead. I think, like, Joe Burrow's going to hit his rhythm. I oh, think their kicker is going to make some kicks. It's over after that. And I think AJ's going to start making some catches. It was only 35 to 30. We, right. It wasn't like, no. No, I'm saying. Know? They're and, within and, the score. And we would expect the Browns to be able to put 35 up a game. So what the fuck are we talking about? It's like we usually just used to the Browns putting up six points, which makes <laughs> Baker look like what the fuck are you doing? I can't believe they lost thirty five points. I'm so good surprised. I- I'm actually happy that Baker fucking did something. I'm not, uh, but well, you, you did, did it against a what rookie you dude do with, with all those one wide receiver. Right, you did it against a rookie one receiver. You only you didn't even win by a touchdown. Right, and OBJ already got he finally got some 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 love. Finally, too. yeah. Like, uh, Jarvis Landry still appears to be the main piece on that offense. though. I don't get it. You, you, the, the, there has to be a focal point to it. Don't, OBJ and Lawrence gotta be the main guys. 
I agree. Just period. I agree. Like, there's no way. Hey, Kareem Hunt looks really good too. I no, kind of like what they're doing he? with him. They're like, they're like, they're doing Nick Chubb, and they're letting him run the offense for like most of the Bro. game. And then towards the end of the game, when the defenses are gassed, they're you're just putting, putting Kareem fresh Hunt in and letting him get like 80, bro. But, but and it's why, like, and he's fresh. Why wouldn't you just use both of them though? I like, kind of like what they're doing. I think it's really smart, bro. I feel like, but Kareem's popping off. We're the he looks only great. ones that try to incorporate two at the same time. Yeah, the Eagles. We did Blunt and we did Ajayi. We actually were good that Y'all year. Y'all could do Boston Scott and Miles Sanders right now, too. We could. Which is weird, too, right? We because could. the Eagles are also looking into Devontae Freeman. And, like, Dude. I don't understand the reason for that. Like, y'all what are don't we need doing? that depth. Like, literally, I'm going to be real. Scott can sit down. Sanders should have been in. Right. If we're going to be really honest well, about last year. Well, I'm going to say, y'all could play them both at the same time, though, is I, what I'm getting at. I feel like my boy was could have rookie of the year. I, oh, you you thought Miles remember, Sanders was you were like no, I said Josh like Jacobs, two, but yeah, you, you but I can still respect you saying there. that though. He had a great year. He was fucking good. I agree. And so, what are we doing? Like, we also have to keep in mind that it wasn't just Sanders the whole season. It was Sproles. It was Scott. It, it was, was a combined effort. You know what I'm saying? For but sure. he went way ham and was even in the conversation. I if, agree. If it would have just been him for the whole year, yeah. then what would we be talking well, about? Well, yeah, because he didn't you know? start the year either. Like, no. he kind of popped up like over time. So why why is Scott in? I, I don't. Scott's also talented. <laughs> this fucking guy. He's Look, good. I get it that we love Sproles and we're, and we're into the short, stocky, just speed Sproles guys. But he's old news, though. To me, Scott with all due respect, I'm well, not trying to talk shit. And, and but he's, like, he's, he's, old. he's Hall of Fame, though. He's like Deion. Sa- he's like he's like he's, Deion Lewis. He's Hall of Fame. Uh, I yeah, think, I, I, I can think agree that. Hall of Fame. Maybe not first ballot, but, but he'll get in. So I would take Miles Sanders over Scott. Just point blank, period. And, oh, and so I'm not saying you would. How many Eagles fans would say? We're okay with Scott getting a like a, over time. Th- I'm expecting all, like, Scott to start getting touches like around midseason, and then if he performs, I, I think, think he's he could good. take the job from Sanders. But, but Miles, it's it's his to lose. It, it is. You're it shouldn't be. Right. He's on the side trying to You're compete with right. Scott at I this agree. point. There, there is no competition. He, he's easily won this. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I mean, it, it, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh man. Oh, I'm, I'm loving this. Well, then they're on I'm this list this. too. Let's. We've already been yeah. talking. Let's go into the Eagles. Yeah, let's do it. So the Eagles are 0 and two. Yeah. They've lost to Washington. Yeah. Big which L. which was insane. So you're you're about to say the second loss. And anybody who's listening to the sports show should already know because this game was yesterday. <laughs> I don't know which one was worse, bro. I I, I don't know the, yet. And so for anyone who might not know, oh my they also lost to the LA Rams. And they got beat convincingly in both oh, games. Horribly. Now I will say this: y'all did have a 17 point lead against Washington, and so it was okay. that should not go but unnoticed. On. But like y'all got beat, bro. It was 21 to three against right. the Rams. Right. It ended up being 16 to 21 against the Rams. <laughs> and then next thing you know, it's 39 to like. 21. Yeah, so it's kind of like, weird. It's what? like we know the Eagles can play. The fuck. We know we could. We know that they could ball out, but bro, like, they're just. I, they're choking. Inconsistency, bro. Is we're just inconsistent. And so again, do you? Here's the thing. Do you nope. think it's inconsistency or do you think um, it's complacency? Like they're like we're up, and then like so, they take their foot off the pedal, and then they just I think give it's up. Both. I think it's shit. both. Um, now what I will say this. I can relate. Green Bay was doing that for years. Hold it was driving me nuts. And this is this is the only reason why I let people just talk their shit. We are a second half football kind of team. Sure. So like the first half of every year, we are always two and three or two and four. Something <laughs> but juice. It's true, yeah. And we some kind of way you just figure it out. Fucking win and end up being the the game that we play with the Cowboys, it right. decides who's about to take it. Right. That's just how it always ends up. I don't know if it's about to end up that way this year, because it's the bubble and shit's just different. But I'm okay right now for these first couple games. I'm still alive with my Eagles. Okay. Yeah. Next team, Houston. Uh, lost to the Chiefs and Baltimore. Got beat bad by both teams. I'm but dead. That's two of the best teams in the NFL. I'm dead. Huh? I'm dead. I'm I think Houston. they're dead too. I'm dead. Even I'm though Houston. they played two really good teams, like I don't see any Bro. redeeming qualities from Houston. Like Deshaun looks exhausted, dude. I mean, uh, Bro, yeah. Like this Watson, is the like, problem. He had D Hop. He needed D Hop. Everybody knew that already. You literally gave up D Hop for like a wad of hair. Like, I mean, let, well, let's be let's real. Give, let's give David Johnson some credit. He actually does look decent, but he just doesn't look like Bro. he's worth the value of the pick. So you're telling me on the trade, D Johnson and D Hop. Bro, there's no way those are no. even. And Will trades. Fuller, Will Fuller has a hamstring injury too. So it just... so so when you look at like what Houston got and what that guy does, and then what Cardinals got and what D Hop has already done. That is by far the hugest margin of. I agree. That was a huge fuck up, and yep. now 
you're just putting literally for real everything on Watson's shoulders now. Yep. And Watts. So I mean, what the hell do y'all expect? Like Houston is gonna get Houston's trampled out. this year. Like they're gonna, they're probably gonna be like fighting oh, for like a like they're a high gonna pick be this year. in a pick. They're gonna not I think so. do that. Great. I think they're, so too. They're dead in water. Uh, yeah. Denver, uh, they lost to the Titans and the Steelers. They were both close, even with all the injuries they have. I think Denver still has the potential. Like they have all the talent that we've already discussed, but like. I don't these think they're going to be able to survive back. all these injuries. These players got to come back. If I agree. I, I, injuries, think, I don't think they're dead yet. I think if some of their play, well, Corbin right. Sutton's already out for the year, and like Drew Vaughn Locks out for like and, like up to six weeks, and Von Miller's I, gone. Like I, I'm they're almost, starting to look dead. I'm almost to dead, bro. I think they're, so they're too. They're at least sinking. Unfortunately, um, because like they've already proven that they can play. Like they can they can play against good teams, but not with these injuries. It's not going to happen. You could say that about any team, though. Like, that's rough. My team does it every year. Right. They're like, yeah, let's, I mean, yeah, bro. I, yeah, it's tough. Let's I, go I Giants. Know. Saquon is out for the season. Dead. I think that's all you need to say. Dead. They're dead as fuck. That, the only reason they're going to be they playing gonna, for a top pick. Bro, the only reason they're going to be anything, right? And and I've always hated it. They call this dude Danny Dimes. He is not a dimer. All, all he literally did was come in after old ass Eli and just throw a couple more completions. Well, now they're gonna be. They don't have to worry bro. about any run game because like whoever's behind him, like it's they're not, not gonna they're run. Not they're not a threat. Nope. So now you have to throw against us. And their offensive line is nothing. weak too. You're not gonna do and, nothing. I mean, oh, don't get me wrong. Their their receiving core is decent, but Look, Danny Dimes is not gonna have enough time to throw the ball. I, I don't think his name is Danny Dimes anymore. We should just call him Daniel Jacobs. His his name. Dang. He just gets his name. He's no more Danny Dimes because no he does dimes. not throw dimes, and he's not gonna be able to throw no more dimes. No, Saquon's gone. Yep. You're not throwing no dimes to nobody because everybody knows you're. They're gonna have like they're gonna be running like seven DBs, bro. They they, they'll go almost. They'll be able to run like a three man rush. It's it's almost to the point to where we don't even got a quarterback spy you, bro. No, because you ain't gonna run. Not really. So we could just drop back and help. He can run a little bit, but But not not enough enough for a quarterback spy. So I'll just drop back and help. Yeah. And who you gonna throw to? We know you're gonna throw it. Yeah, nobody. Well, Slayton and Golden Tate are both good, but Tate is also hurt, so it's just uh, I don't on, know, man. man. At this point, yeah, dead. It's yeah. Dead. Yeah. Dead. Uh let's go, Minnesota. Dead. They played the Packers and the Colts. <laughs> dead. Dead. I had a conversation with one of our fans about Minnesota. This dead. guy went in on me about how Minnesota was gonna win the, the no, division. They won't. And about how the Packers ain't shit. I would like oh. to politely well, that's a rivalry, bro. Look at the two that's teams you lost to. That's a rivalry. You gotta expect that. No, fuck them. <laughs> you gotta expect <laughs> uh, with that. With all due respect, I'm just talking shit. But, but with all due respect, Green Bay's two and zero. You're zero and two, and you lost to the Colts. So, so look, talk look, to me. And when... I called that. <laughs> and, oh yeah, and but, yeah, hey, Damian. Oh, we gotta get into that though because yeah. I still lost. But I called that to end the show. But Damian called him losing the Colts. So, mad props to you because I didn't think that was gonna happen at all. So this is what this is, bro. That's literally like. We, well, that's now, what you said. Not, Kirk is not a, shit, and not, so is Phillip, but like, you like Phillip more. <laughs> come on, man. So, not in the same similarity, right? D-Hop, you trade him, and you got Watson. Kirk Cousins, bro, I mean, you Diggs is there. You give him up. Bro, now every team knows you're just going to throw to Thielen. And they get double Thielen. Every team already knew you was doing that anyway. And they got Justin Jefferson, but he's a rookie. Like, it's hard to get a lot out and of a rookie look, receiver. Like, If it's they not don't get common. their shit together, Daquan going to leave. And they're gonna really be fucked. Ooh. Daquan, Cook. Oh, Dalvin. He's, he's still on. I was oh, like, Dalvin. Yeah, my yeah, fault. I was like, what are you talking about? Dalvin Cook, right? It's still there, but shit, his rookie contract is, oh, is nearing r- in, bro. It's nearing he got in. An extension though. I think did he? I think he did. Not that I heard of when no. I saw he was still on his rookie shit, dude. We can look uh, it up right now, bro. I'm telling you right now, if Kirk don't get his shit together, oh, bro, it's over with. Because Cook's not. I don't think Cook is gonna stay. He's still on his rookie shit the last No, also. I was right. He extended? Yeah, he got extended for five years, $63 million. Okay, so you know what that means? At some point in time, Kirk is gone then. Like, I, yeah, but they I just mean, extended him for another three years too. Just goofy shit. And then let I Diggs mean, they go. could get rid of him, but he's probably going to be a big cap hit. Right, and who's going to take him? <laughs> Fucking nobody. <laughs> uh, maybe the Jets. I mean, you know. Maybe the Jets or uh, Bro, uh, maybe the I Giants. Mean, you know. I mean, they could. How long do they go on with the Danny Dimes experiment? With I mean, Josh I, Jay, I, I the, think, the, the Daniel J- Jones experiment. I, I think I, I still call him Danny Dimes for the sake of the the fans that know him. As I Danny respect Dimes. it. Yeah, uh, it's to a good me, nickname. He, he's definitely back to DJing. He's he's not a, a dime dropper. He's just a DJ. He just scratches <laughs> a little. Yeah. That's all it is. Uh, I, I don't know, bro. I, I I guess you give him maybe um, over under maybe 
eight games at this point to give them a, an accurate. We're gonna so you play think enough he can get teams this year. Oh, I, I think this year we're we're gonna end up seeing if is if is he really good. I, I think that's fair. Or if he's not, because literally, well, is it though? Because Saquon well, got hurt. That's, so it's like, okay. is that a fair evaluation? Brady ran multiple years without a running back. Uh, a lot of people try to say he had one, but they bro. Let's be real. Patriots never had like they were never a running threat to nobody. They've always been a passing threat. So even though he's had good running backs with him, teams know he was still going to throw the ball. Sure. So I feel that if you're a good quarterback, right? It doesn't matter if you got a good quarter, a good running back with you or not. You either you're good or you're not. I feel and that's it. why Dak gets shitted on because without Zeke, you're garbage. But with Zeke balling it out works. this year, right? Yeah. With these two games, Dak has numbers that are like, wait, what the fuck? Is he considered one of the best? It's true. I mean, bro, yesterday, what, 32 for 41 for 450 or some weird it shit? Was, yeah. And two touchdowns. Bro, that's fucking nuts. That was their big to numbers. To go up and down the field four times Let's and Let's be half? honest, though. They I mean, lost that game. They did lose that game. But, I mean, they won it. <laughs> yep. So, I mean, what the fuck, right? It was just really interesting <laughs> to see the Cowboys fans change their tune so well, quickly. Well, I just think it's, it's so interesting for us to, like, so, so I can say the same thing, right? Of course, we're not talking about basketball, but Denver technically won last night. They Denver did. won that game. It's true. I mean, AD hit. The yeah. Damn shit it. Denver but did win that game. That That's onside what I was kick, saying. bro, there's three or four players, like you mentioned, just watching it. Like, y'all don't actually have to watch it go to 10. No, Only the just Cowboys. Get the ball, yeah. Y'all can touch it. Yeah. As soon as it comes over, like, y'all the, don't have the, to the let the it Falcons do that. The blew it. Like, they didn't understand how the onside touch kick the works. Touch the fucking ball. But how do you I not understand that? And you get paid for that. You're fucking I professional. There's no excuse. I'm a fan, that, and I love basketball more than football. I even, I was like, okay, jump on it, jump on it. Okay, let's wait. So, again, the fact that they didn't jump on it, all I think about is that is the by far sickest onside kick I've ever seen. It in my was incredible. Life. It hit five yards and just, it just politely kept, it kept rolled skipping. up to the ten. It just kept skipping. And then, oh, let's go. So I'm like, Atlanta, what the fuck are you doing? I agree. Let's kind of let's kind of plow through these. Oh um, my gosh, let's get it. Detroit, they played the Bears and the Packers. Um, they really beat the Bears. Like the Bears came back and scored like three touchdowns in the fourth quarter. Like they so choked just it. Extra shit. And they were up fourteen to three against the Packers right. before the Packers got back to back touchdowns. Like they got the fourteen point swing at half, and then they got a pick six, and then after that it was just over. Like the Packers just piled on. Yep. So Detroit actually looks like they could be pretty good, but they keep doing shit that Detroit does every year. Like they look good, but they never win games, and Bro, it's so just, weird to me. And I don't feel like getting Patricia helps. I just feel like it makes it worse. They're just gonna lose more games. Yeah. Everybody thought he was so good, right? Because it came from Patriots. Oh, so uh, we we didn't say. So uh, do you think Minnesota's dead, or or do they have a chance? No, I said it. They done it. They you did. think they're dead? They did. I kind of think they're dead they too. You gave up digs. You're out of there. They also lost you're a home game against the Packers. Like you're they just don't there. look good. I mean, even though though Packers are very Respectable team. We're playing good I, this year. I, I, I'm just, I'm not high on Kirk, and right. I will stay that way. I respect nope. it. Dead. Um, I think Detroit is not dead. Detroit. I think they have a chance. Like they look, dead. they look like they can yeah. do shit. They just need to put all the pieces together. They technically could have last year, but they let that. Well, one right. Game I was go gonna say they, they kind of like they from they what they showed last, last year, year to this year, they can do. Yeah. It. They can do it. I mean, last year they had that one game where they were up, and it was a big game that they needed to win. Well, with Green they, Bay, they, they literally with Green Bay, they led for the entirety of regulation in both games and took two L's. We had game winning That's zero saying, zero bro. zero field goal so, winning game so like field goals. Like. This is what I hate. It, it feels like sometimes we watch teams play to their competition. Yeah, like and not just. Well, Pittsburgh's you know? notorious for that. Like they play right. down their competition. Right. So, like they'll beat like they'll the best ass, teams in the NFL, right, but, but then they, they could lose to like right. the Jets or some <laughs> shit. Like the dumbest <laughs> exactly, shit, bro. Like, bro. Everyone's like, "What the fuck just how do, happened? How does that happen?" Yeah, it's bro. very weird. Yeah. <laughs> um, Atlanta, they played the Seahawks and the Cowboys. They're dead, 0 2. Dead. They lost both games bad. They got girly, but dead. Well, Ryan's not good they enough beat for me. the Cowboys. Ryan's at not good enough for me. Home, but they blew it. Ryan's not good enough for me. Okay. I think they, they're think? not dead yet, but they're on yep. life support. Like, they need to get it together soon. I mean, we got to think about the teams that are, like, with them, right? Like, Carolina doesn't look good either, though. I mean, they. And the Saints play tonight. So we'll but, I see. mean they're they're gonna run. They're gonna that. win. They're yeah, gonna they're probably run gonna that win. Let's be Bro, what if the, what if Oakland wins tonight? I mean, I expect Oakland to win. It's it's in it's Oakland. A, it's in Oakland. Well, Vegas, Vegas. It's goddamn right. <laughs> well, Vegas. yeah, Vegas. My you bad. get it. And so I picked the Saints because I mean, let's be logical. But I mean, they could easily win that game. Okay, easily. So Atlanta's dead. I think they're on life support, but you think I they're think dead? They're out of okay. There. Out of uh, Carolina. They played the Raiders and the Bucks. The Raiders game is close, but the Bucks beat them pretty bad. Carolina's dead. I think Carolina's dead too. They're I, I definitely overestimated them. Out of there. 
Especially with the McCaffrey injury. Um, yeah, like, that's that, why like, that's they're it. dead now. Yeah, like, uh, McCaffrey it's has, a high ankle sprain, high, so like, he could come back, back like Saquon did, but he still won't be the same. Yeah, like, not until next year. not going to – nope, yep, nope. So, okay. So, so we think we think Miami's still okay. No, 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 no. No, I we said, think since he's okay. I said since he's okay. Since he's okay, we think the Eagles might be okay. Eagles will definitely be okay. We, we do think it every Detroit's year. okay. Detroit's okay. And that's it. So the rest of the teams are pretty much dead. They're dead at this okay. point. Okay. But you did like Atlanta. You said Atlanta's all right. I, I, so, yeah, and I kind of like Atlanta, yeah. Uh, I, I just, I get good like, Miami, Miami, maybe. Like if Tua comes in and starts fucking shit up, then maybe. But other than that, like right. really nothing. I think that's.